Okay, so getting into understanding metering modes. You have four metering modes. Evaluative, that's what Canon calls it, our matrix. The second one is partial. The third is spot. And the fourth is center weighted mode. So basically each mode is measuring how bright your scene is in its own individual way. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is actually two that I'm gonna to put together just to make this a little bit easier. I'm gonna talk about spot metering and partial metering. And I'm just gonna put, put these two in the same box because they're very similar. So what your camera is gonna do when you put it on spot meter is it is going to meter your scene from about 2% of, of, your, of your scene. So if you are spot metering um, for a headshot and there's a, a lot of backlight, then this is a good choice because you are gonna get the, like, the correct skin tone because your camera is only going to meter for, like I said, about 2% of your image. The reason I'm going to put spot metering and partial metering in together is because the only difference in partial and spot is that in partial metering, your camera is reading about 7% of, of your scene. So spot metering, about 2%, partial metering, more like 7%. So say that you're doing an engagement session on the beach um, and there's more you know, than one person in the frame. Um, I, I personally like um, partial metering. And partial metering is actually the Canon default metering. Um, moving on to the second metering mode that I wanna explain to you is the center weighted metering. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So basically what your camera is gonna do when you have it on center weighted metering is it's going to meter for the center of the image. So no matter where your focus is, your camera is metering off the center of the image. So um, this is also like a, a pretty, uh, pretty great um, mode to use, especially if you're shooting in a very like photojournalistic setting. So um, you may not have time to switch to, mo uh, to spot metering or partial metering. You're gonna go with the center weighted average it's center weighted average metering so um, this is a this is a great choice if you are shooting photojournalistically and more on the fly and just to explain one more time is that what your camera is doing is it's metering for the center of the image um, now the last one I want to explain is called evaluative Canon calls it evaluative and Nikon calls it matrix and basically what this is is it is something that the manufacturer like Canon has has built in um, for metering uh, the truth is we don't really know so this would be the one that would be the 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 trickiest one to use and the one that we can't really explain because Canon has it's like Canon's way of metering so um, I've done a lot of research on what that means and what matrix means and everybody says the same. It's like, we actually aren't sure what the, what the camera is doing there. So I wouldn't use evaluative metering. I would stick to average or center weighted metering or partial metering and you're gonna be all set. So happy metering guys. And that was a hard one. Like when I first started, I was shooting like really good, um, doing well with my photography and I didn't really explain, uh, understand metering all that well. I did it like just inside my camera. Um, but it's a really good thing to know. And um, all of these technical things are just so good to know. It brings you closer to your camera and closer to your art. I think it's really, personally, I think it's really awesome to know the ins and outs of everything. And if you're not interested in metering, that's cool too. Everybody's different. I just happen to be someone that loves to learn and I love to share. So um, get out there and practice those metering if, if this turns you on. And until then, stay inspired. I'll see you next time.